Paul, thanks very much for joining us. In terms of the the sector, obviously, advanced manufacturing sits somewhere also between, I guess, data centers, industrial, office. How do you see that? And is that a sort of challenge for investors to be able to understand the sector and the opportunities? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, there's lots of talk of, um, you know, hybrid industrial buildings where maybe there's mezzanines and they're, they're, they're not over a single story, maybe they're over two stories. Um, also, some of these manufacturing processes need specific di- dimensions, you know, that are maybe not standard from a construction perspective, you know, quite, quite long buildings or, or quite fat buildings, depending on what's, what's happening. So it is a challenge, but generally these occupiers are kind of investing for a 20, 25 year period um, in the location. So it means that from a, 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 you know, a commercial kind of cost effectiveness point of view, it's, uh, the buildings are almost be- bespoke. And most of these companies are well financed. I think the challenge is going to come for the smaller new start businesses where you know they don't have the covenant on the financial strength, but they need quite specific um, property requirements. Um, but then you know we would go up to the market, or they would go to the market and look for uh, kind of investors to kind of bridge that gap. Um, so yeah, so it's definitely not a one size fits all, and you have to keep an open mind. There's always, there's always a way. You can always find a way, um, but it's not it's not easy sometimes. And in general, Paul, is is this sort of longer term patient capital that's that's um, seeking out these investment opportunities? It, it is, it is, but like it's a mixture. Uh, I mean, you know, I just said that the the timelines are different for different sectors, different contracts different businesses so it's having the 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 ability to access the patient capital but also the um you know the kind of short short run kind of high risk capital as well um and i know from a lot of the engagement i'm having with companies that you know there's series a series b series c funding rounds where, where they're kind of switching um you know that, that capital and that debt um, out in the marketplace um and they seem to be doing that with relative ease actually so so yeah so i think it's i think it's always good to um adapt to the situation and a lot of these companies are are going to evolve over time so we we need to be flexible and and engaging with them and and kind of help them um, in that evolution as well so that that could even be designing in uh, flexibility in, in in the property element make sure units can be subdivided or extended over a period of time so it's um uh, it's keeping us very busy at the moment. Um, very quick paced um, rate of change, uh, but also it's very exciting and very interesting. You know, every day, uh, I think my favourite phrase is "every day is a school day" because you know we're engaging with lots of very different um, people in the market with, with great ideas about how to do things. So you know, I've certainly learned a lot from a lot of the occupiers I've spoken to. Yeah, it's a really interesting area, I think, and, and set for significant growth over the next few years. Thanks very much for joining us, Paul. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Thanks, Richard.